In this video, I will cover my approach in having a third-person character controller using Cinema Machine Free Loop Camera with mobile input. Welcome to Resi Studio. What do we have on the scene? This scene is a similar project that I showed you in my last video with a similar theme um, for the Cinema Machine using the mobile input. I have my game play, player's game object and I have my UI game object with the necessary interface in order to acquire the joystick input in order to move my character and the look, touch input to move my camera around, and obviously I have a UI to activate the run action of my button um, using the on-screen button from the new input system. Um, in this video, I'm not going to go into a deep dive in how the this the joystick and the look touch input works. I did that in my other video. I'm going to have a link below. So if you want to have a look first to that one, you can do it. Or you can also download this little project and tinker with it. So have a, a go. So without further ado, I'm going to jump in and explaining what I have running in my player's game object. So in my player's game object, I have the necessary components. I have a animator, a transformer, a capsule collider, very similar stuff to have a player. I have a rigid body. I also have the player's controller script in order to move my character. Um, in this script, I only have in reference for the joystick input to move my character, my player, and also have the player's input in order to make it run since we're using the new input system. If you watched my last video, here's the two key difference in this script. I no longer need a reference for the touch look input that is going to make my camera rotate and I no longer need a the game object reference in order to make my camera move according to that game object from the last video. What is the key difference? The key difference is in the last video we used a virtual camera. We're using now the free look camera from Cinemachine. If we go inside my player's game object, inside my player's game object, I'm using the Cinemachine free look camera. The free look camera the Cinemachine provided us comes right off the bus, at, right comes right out the box as a third person camera perspective. Uh, and it already has some few nice features, which is that it will need input from your mouse so don't worry about it we're going to override it with our own input more or less here we have the top rig and middle rig so why this top rig middle rig and bottom ring which it looks like rings here in the scene the circular ring thing here is around my player so is this a different using a virtual machine yes if we hop into my player script Here my script, I have the one that we use in the free little camera. Here we have the necessary variables and have the reference in or everything to to work. My joystick reference, my input for the round action, etc. The star method, the movement method. Here, if you compare it with the other script, it doesn't change a lot. Here I'm having the calculation in order to move my player according for my camera rotation. But if you notice, that's all I need in the script. I don't have the method in the, my last script that I needed to create, which I'm going to show you now. That is, this is the last script using the virtual machine. Using virtual camera, I needed to make a method to calculate and clip my X and Y axis to the camera. This calculation, I don't need it to do in the free look camera because I have it all inside my free look camera with these rings so I can control my camera for how far he will go in the Y axis and in the X axis um, playing around with these bricks. Let me go to show you here. So I can tell how high the top rig will go either lower and down or the hot on the bottom rig and he will go between those up and down in the Y axis from my input. So that is the key new feature with the free loop camera. Um, also, when you're using the free loop camera in your follow, 
you will put your player in the lookout you will also put your player i tend to have a um, empty game object inside my players and then put it here in the lookout so this is the reference we're having so how do we control the center machine for look camera it was already come out of the box when using a mouse so in my case i needed to create a new script and i had needed to use the namescape of cinema machine in order to pass my ip input so here's the reference for my touch input panel and then i have a small private vector here where i'm going to use to pass the inputs and the touch sensitive the touch speed sensitivity which how fast i want um the x and y axis of the camera to move up and down left and right and obviously i have a string attached in order to identify which inputs i'm gonna use this mouse x and mouse y is the one that you see on here in the virtual camera in the free look camera sorry so you can see here in the x in the axis control you're gonna use input axis name mouse y and mouse X. those are the ones that I'm having I'm um, calling the reference in the script so when I call my input from my touch input I'm gonna pass those vectors inside these variables in order to identify it and that's what the cinema machine will use to control the, ca the, the camera so let me just hit play so you can see so I'm touching the screen up and down left and right and then I'm gonna move my character and once I'm moving I can press the button so in order to them gonna pause it here and I'm gonna show you a gameplay from my sister cell phone So this is more or less my personal approach in using a free loop camera from Cine Machine and using it with mobile input. So if you have any games that you want to use it using Cine Machine, now you can do it. Again, this is a small project. You can tinker it, you can download it. And if you find anything suspicious, let me know and we fix and I fix it up. So thank you for hearing me out. Until next one, have a lovely day.